While some countries are still developing fifth-generation fighter jets, the most advanced to date, manufacturers around the world are already outlining the future of air combat. Let's take a look at the most promising ones to try and decipher what the sixth-generation fighter jets could look like. In the early 2000s, Lockheed Martin opened the wave of the so-called fifth generation of fighter jets with the F-22 Raptor. The fighters of this generation share a few common characteristics. It is worth noting that those characteristics, as well as the whole concept of fighter generation, have been criticized as simplistic or even as a marketing argument for Lockheed Martin by some of its competitors. The concept of stealth through passive low observable features, for example, remains a controversial area as some see it as too limiting for the airframe design and overall performances, while easily countered as sensor technology is catching up. In the last five years, several concepts of the sixth-generation jet fighter have already emerged from aircraft manufacturers around the world. While the majority of them are still on the drawing board, a quick look at the specifications and the tactical applications of the most promising ones gives interesting hindsight on where the industry is heading. U.S. Next Generation Air Dominance From the Air Superiority 2030 report, published in 2016, emerged the necessity to create a new fighter jet capable of replacing both the F-15 Eagle and the F-22 Raptor. Thus came out the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD program, aimed at developing a penetrating counter-air, PCA, fighter jet along with a family of capabilities that operate in and across the air, space, and cyberspace domains. This new aircraft would need to have a long range in order to reach faraway theaters without fixed bases, such as the Pacific. With the increased presence of anti-access slash area denial, a 2 slash AD, systems, supersonic speed, and stealth would also be a must. To fulfill its strategic needs in a shorter period of time, United States Air Force Secretary Will Rupper said the program might take inspiration from the Century Series fighters that led to the development of no less than six fighter jets and two canceled projects. In less than six years during the 1950s, the F-100 Super Sabre, the F-101 Voodoo, the F-102 Delta Dagger, the F-104 Starfighter, the F-105 Thunder Chief, and the F-106 Delta Dart all from different manufacturers. The development of the Digital Century series would see a reduced number of aircraft introduced every five to six years, incorporating the latest technology available. Each airframe could be developed around a unique capability, with one employing directed energy weaponry, while another one would focus on electronic warfare. That would allow them to work as a network capable of countering any type of threat. Boeing Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman have all announced they were conducting experimental studies while awaiting the official call for tenders from the USAF. 